think toward the end of the year in 2014, I just kind of committed to being aggressive with everything I did. I was hitting out of my forehands, I was aggressive on the return, I was playing freely, and uh, you know, one week just kind of rolled over to the next week, and uh, it was a strong finish. I think a lot of it is committing to what you want to do, and, and for me, I want to be aggressive all the time. I want to be aggressive with my forehand. I want to be aggressive with the return. I want to be aggressive on big points, and sometimes it takes doing that and and losing matches and missing points and missing balls. But you're doing it. You're doing the right things. And once you know, sometimes it could just be one match where all that clicks, and uh, and then you can just kind of build the confidence, and one match turns into two, and you can kind of keep going. I think the fact that everyone kind of starts January 1st, it's kind of like you're all in it together. You're all, you're all in an even playing field. You're all ranked the same. And, and it's kind of, uh, you know, like, all right, let's go. Let's see who can start off the best and be, be ranked the highest. And the best part about tennis, I think, compared to other sports is every week it's almost like that. You could lose first round of 10 tournaments in a row and you've got a fresh start the next week. And you, could, you can win that tournament and, and all of a sudden you're on your way. You're, you've got a great year. I think the thing that I've learned most on the tour is everyone's good. The guy ranked one is really good and the guy ranked 100 is really good. And you have to go out there focused and ready to go for every match, no matter who you're playing, no matter what tournament it is, no matter what country you're in. And you've got to be focused and, and willing to work hard every match.